Hey everybody, it's Sherry. Um, I want to talk to you guys about a few things today. Um, I really want to do a quick tutorial on the emotional high rise. I've referenced it several times in my videos and those of you that haven't read the read my book Intuitive Transformation Evolution, which is where I talk about that, um, have asked me to give more information about that and explain it a little bit further. So I would, I'm gonna go through that today to help people right now because of the massive amounts of emotional shifts happening with people. Um, this will be a good uh, guide in order to uh, facilitate your own release process during this crazy period, um, probably throughout, throughout the, the end of the year. And so before I get to that though, I had a message and I've, I'm feeling guided to say this first. So. I talk a lot about the ascension and where we're where we're headed and humanity waking up you know in this awakening process and people raising their vibration um into this collective consciousness or this new awareness that is um, such a beautiful thing and we talk a lot about how a lot of people are still you know quote unquote uh, asleep um and i thought about it the other day and this came to me, this message came to me and, and, they, and they said, you know, Sherry, there's a reason why there's, uh, there's waves of people waking up because if you can imagine, people have been asleep for hundreds of years under this grandiose spell, so to speak, with this negative dense energy on the planet. And if massive, um, masses, large masses of people were to wake up at the same time it would be utter chaos and people would literally lose their mind and they'd be running around like chickens with their head cut off and and we can't have that it needs to be more organized and so the, we're having these waves of people you know starting probably in the early 1900s very slowly um, and a massive, massive waves in the 80s and 90s and then into the 2000s so we're having these waves of, of awakening and it's purposeful so that those people that wake up um, can process everything and reevaluate their life and seek out guidance from others uh, through books and um, uh, other teachers or, or, or healers um, to kind of figure everything out. And then, of course, what I say all the time is to go within and, and get your information from your higher self or the collective consciousness. Um, and that way, when other people around them wake up, uh, they will be there for them to explain and so on and so forth. And so right, right now we happen to be in a mass awakening though, um, in the year 2020 into 21 purposefully because of this massive earth vibrational shift that is very necessary to kind of rid ourselves. um, of all of the negative energy or not all we'll never get rid of all of it but we'll get a, rid of a majority of it so that the earth can raise her vibration and then humanity can then raise their vibration collectively so that we can really get into the work that we're meant to do on this planet which we have not been able to uh, for quite some time because we have been controlled by uh, a very small group of, um, of beings on this earth uh, for a very long time so just be patient with uh, with friends, I, and it it, ha it seems to be that most people are struggling right now that are awake happen to be in families that are completely asleep, or their um, friends or close friends and, and family or uh, people that are in their community are the are so vastly asleep that they are struggling because they feel like they're the only ones and they're alone, and those are the people uh, seeking guidance. Um, from a variety of sources, um, which is one reason why I started making these videos to help those people just feel like you do have a community and it is going to grow uh, and it's going to get larger and larger as people wake up. So uh, be ready and take this time to process everything and learn so that when your family members or friends wake up, you'll be, you'll be there for them ready and willing to in, in a very compassionate way to help guide them. So emotional high rise let's get into that because I talk about it in the book and I and I was trying to create a really easy metaphor for people um, of all levels of spirituality to really grasp the idea or the concept that our emotions dictate our well-being 100% hands down our emotions dictate most of our, our existence because um, emotions are energy and so if we are energetic beings which we are and we have a vibration every second of the day 
we are influenced heavily by our emotions. Um, and that's one of the reasons why people come to earth because they want to experience those emotions. So fear or anger or all the lower vibrational emotions were never meant to rule us or control us as much as they have because uh, we, we wanted to be able to experience a spectrum, a wide spectrum of emotions, but we were never meant to remain in those lower dense, dense um, emotions. That was designed by the powers that be so that we will maintain in this um, a sleep state so that we don't tap into the higher uh, vibrations and our higher self and because the possibilities are endless when we're, when, we're, when we're in that state and we're much more powerful than we realize. So the emotional high rise, the, what, I, what I created was if you can imagine, you know, just like a, a, a condo or a high rise uh, building that has, uh, that's, has um, 10 floors and a penthouse. So uh, the lower floors, uh, let's start with the first floor, would be the fear, resentment, anger, like the, the lowest vibrational dense energies are, are on that floor. So all the people that are on those floors are residing in those fears and anger and, and that vibration, that frequency, and, it, and it's very dense. So a lot of people become trapped down there, not under, not under really understanding why, they just, uh, because it's very difficult sometimes when your vibration gets that low to, to get out of it because other vibrations that are similar to that become attracted to you and, and, it, and they literally can uh, energetically, not literally, but uh, hold you down. And so it, bec it can become very difficult to get out. So if you think about as you go up the decades of the floor, so second floor is a little less harsh of an environment. Um, maybe it's more, a little bit more anxiety or stress. And then the third floor um, is, you know, a lesser version of, of that worry, maybe a little bit more sadness. And then as you get up to the middle floors, it's more like um, complacency or, uh, you know, just, all right, I guess, you know, it is what it is, but you're not angry, you're not happy, you're kind of somewhere in the middle. And then as you go up in the higher floors, uh, then we, uh, obviously the emotions will shift and, and you'll, not only does your emotions shift, but your vibration and the way you feel physically will shift. So you'll feel lighter, you'll feel happy, you'll feel motivated to do things. So you'll, you're in the happiness section or, or the joy um, vibration. And when you're in the lower floors, that's where dis-ease comes because that vibrational energy in your body becomes um, very dense and, and the body can't process it and that's when you start to get sick. Uh, so we need to learn how to control our emotions so that we go out of those lower floors into the higher ones so that we don't um, allow that to consume us. And so the way to do that is if you can imagine there's an elevator and literally the elevator is called by you, your consciousness. So you have the ability at any point in time in any floor that you're in to literally, you can imagine this visual, go to the elevator and say, I, I don't like the way this feels. This floor is icky, it's, it's dark, it's dense. I wanna get out of it. And press the button and visualize going in it. And as you're going up the elevator, imagining you're going up this elevator, you are taking these deep breaths and your intention, it's very powerful, is I am releasing the energy of whatever floor you just left, sadness, and uh, anger, resentment, um, and exhale it, breathe it out and your intention is so powerful, your body will then have a response to it. The energy will dissipate. That's that lower vibrational energy will literally dissolve. It'll alchemize and you will feel yourself rise. You, some people will literally feel themselves rise. You'll feel euphoric, you'll feel lighter. There's a variety of different, you'll feel more a wave of peace uh, or clarity. So there's a lot of different reactions that your body can have to it. But the idea is recognizing that individually we as emotional beings but we're also very powerful in that we are higher consciousness that we just forgot uh, a lot of us are we forgot our ability to that we have so much more control than we think that we could at any point in any time rise up it's our choice so let's say you're you're somewhere on the fifth floor and you're you're you know, you're walking around in life and you're like yeah you know I'm, I'm okay uh, I'm not happy but I'm not sad I'm just kind of going through the motions and you go to work and your boss yells at you for something, you did something wrong and you really just plummet to the first floor and you, you, you are upset, you're frustrated, maybe you're embarrassed, whatever the reason, um, you can stay on that first floor throughout the remainder of your work day. You can go home and wallow in pity and, and, or what I should have done or what I should have said. Um, it's your choice. 
And you can remain on that first floor for a day, for two days, for a week, for the rest of your life. There are people that are those angry people that you know that are just always upset. Uh, they're in the, they're just they're locked down there for some. They just can't get out. They're trapped. Uh, but recognize that you have the ability at any point to say, you know what? I don't like the way this feels. I'm going to let this go. No right or wrong. Just I'm releasing the energy. I'm not holding on to it. I don't like it. You go, you visualize that elevator, you press the button and you rise right up. Now, some people who have been doing this for a long time have the ability to literally go from the first floor to the eighth or ninth with no effort. That takes a lot of practice. Most people will say, I'm getting out of the uh, lower lower floor. I at least want to go somewhere where I'm more balanced, you know, like fifth or sixth floor, just because I need to get myself out of that. And then from there, I can work my way up. People don't believe it. They don't believe that it's that simple because it's your choice to remain as angry or as uh, upset as long as, as long as we want to. Uh, and just recognize that the longer we're in those lower floors, uh, the more likely we are to stay there for a longer period of time. And then when that happens, we then attract more people who into our lives that are also in those floors, uh, romantic partnerships. It's like you're literally putting an advertisement energetically out into the universe where it says, hey, I'm on the first floor, who wants to join me? And then the, the universe will then answer. And then suddenly people will start coming into your life that are also in that first floor. And uh, because you have sent out that signal. And so we need to change the signal, say, I don't wanna be on this floor. I don't like the way it feels. I'm taking my power back. I'm going to be in control. And then the higher your, the floors you go, the more uh, clear your intentions will be and the easier you'll be able to connect to the higher your higher consciousness or, or even the collective consciousness. Um, now the penthouse is what I talk about, which is really cool because that's where we really become spiritually centered. I'll talk about that more in a second, but the penthouse is what, what I refer to as the penthouse is, is that enlightenment in the sense that we are, we worked on ourselves enough that we can then help others because really that's what we're here to do. We're here to, to help others evolve, learn and grow along with ourselves, but in a more compassionate, empathetic way, which we have been designed to do the exact opposite. It's all about competition and who's better than that person. Uh, and, and that's not the purpose of why we're here. And so we have to get back to the penthouse where we are, could be simultaneously fluctuating between the higher floors and helping others, um, and that's fine too. But that's really what the what the design of, of the high rise is, is to get up to the higher floors because then you're opening up your crown chakra, your third eye, you're able to tap into your intuition, your higher self, perhaps spirit, uh, and get true guidance uh, from within, open your heart center, um, and that way you're less likely to fall into the lower floors, or if you do, because we're human beings and we get upset naturally. I mean, we can be going up and down the floors all day long. I mean, that's how we're designed. We're emotional beings. So we experience how we react to things um, is unique to ourself. And so, uh, but the idea is recognizing when you're in the lower flo floors, even for a moment and saying, oh, no, I'm, I'm going, I'm getting out of here. Uh, and that, that I don't like this. Um, and you're making that choice. The difficult thing right now though, is that it's a little bit more challenging because of the state of humanity and with the, with politics and everything that's happening. And it's not, I, I don't believe it's going to get any better throughout the, until later in the year, perhaps early next year. And it's a process that it'll, it'll continue to, to evolve in, in a positive way, but we're still very much in the, in the thick of the negative negativity. Um, the atmosphere, around us is more dense and there's a lot of negative energy and a lot of angry first floor people walking around and uh, people who are sensitive to that energy uh, can pass right through it and then they're brought down into those first floors uh, without them really understanding or recognizing that it's not their own anger. So they're walking around suddenly angry and not really realizing why they're what they're angry about. It's not their anger. It's not your anger that you're feeling a lot of these times. It's the energy of the atmosphere that you're tapping into. And, and, and so people are having a harder time going up the floors because they there's so much. It's so, and it's like you're pressing the elevator button, hello, but like it's not opening, nothing's coming and you're getting frustrated. And frustration is also uh, a vibration that will keep you in the lower floors. So have patience, really. This is a test uh, for everybody to, and I, God knows that I, I don't have a lot of patience and, and that's something I'm working on as well. And so doing, if you're having trouble and you don't feel like 
you're believing that you can rise up or the elevator, you're just pressing that button and you're like, hello, is it broken? It's not broken. It's just, you need a little bit, you need to do a little bit more. And so, um, and I've talked about those things before, but going outside and, and doing your breathing outside in nature, connecting with the earth, connecting with some crystals, um, the laughter raises your vibration. So ca calling a friend and, and talking about something other than what's the current events, you know, uh, things that make you laugh, things that you did with each other years ago that was that was that were fun or pet an animal, play with your kids, uh, watch a funny movie, um, whatever you can do to aid in that feeling of vibrational vib vibrational frequency that makes you uh, go up the elevator a little bit more easily. And recognize that if you fall back down, that's okay. Like I said, you could go up and down the elevator many times a day. The idea is simply to be mindful and teach yourself to recognize when you have fallen and how easy it actually is to go back up. Because again, it's my choice how long I'm gonna stay mad at somebody that pissed me off or cut me off in, in the road or uh, one of my kids is really acting up and getting me so angry and, and how long am I gonna be upset at them for? Uh, when really I need to go into the bathroom or some room privately and just breathe and realize that they're pushing buttons that are within me and they're really not doing anything wrong. And so I have to uh, have more patience with them. So whatever you need to do to recognize where your emotional vibration is and then choosing because in, your, your intention is instant, then you will, so, you will and, and be patient with yourself. So go up a few floors at a time and then breathe and say, oh, this feels better. Okay, now I'm ready to go up a little bit more. And then, and so, you know, uh, it's a process and be patient with yourself. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, so spiritually centered, that's what I was gonna say. So, um, you know, the, a big part of uh, the end of the book that I, that I wrote um, was, uh, talks about, you know, why, what, what is the purpose of, purpose of us actually being here? And, you know, it's not to be a CEO of, of a company or a, a great surgeon or a teacher or, or a police officer, although those are jobs that we do while we're here because we need to do something and we need to, our society has to run. Uh, our purpose of being here is to be, to enlighten ourselves and to enlighten our uh, others through compassion and empathy and learn and grow together. Um, and it doesn't matter what you decide to do. It's great if you become a surgeon or, or a lawyer or whatever it is. That way you can spread your, your light and your compassion through the different aspects of society um, uh, to help uh, enlighten them and to help them grow. And so it's all about becoming spiritually centered in a way that you're more mindful of your emotions uh, when you're able to be mindful of your emotions, you're able to release things more easily. You're able to look at others with more compassion because realize that you, they, oh man, they might, oh, she's probably in a lower floor right now. Let me just give her a break. You know, let me just uh, leave her alone and, and let her do her thing. Um, and recognize that other people also have their own high rises and they're working through their own traumas and anxieties right now. So we're very much in the thick of a very negative, dark time. I think that our children, our children's children are gonna be talking about this in their in their their new history books that will be created. Um, and, uh, and they'll be talking about 2020 and into 2021 and how it was such a massively important period in humanity to shift into a higher vibrational state. But in order to do that, we really have to dismantle all of the different ways we have been uh, designed to think and operate. Uh, and again, like I got that message earlier, everybody's on their own, uh, their vehicle is at a different speed. And so we need to allow people to wake up in shifts so that we don't have this uh, mass awakening of chaos and it's more uh, gradual so that people are at their own speed. And then those that wake up can then help the next group that wakes up. Uh, and there's a reason why you were chosen to be the person in your group, in your community, your family, um, because you're ready. And then when your family members start to wake up, they're gonna look to you for, for guidance and, and answers and you'll be ready. And then they will then do the same thing for others in, in, in their life. And then and it's a ripple effect, so it goes on and on. So 
tr just understand that the remainder of the year is going to be dense and heavy. The emotions that you may be feeling may not even be your own, uh, but you can still transmute it. Uh, we are powerful beings, and if we're in a high enough vibration uh, and consciousness and mindset, we have the ability to, to do that very easily. It's just about trusting uh, in your knowing that you um, are a divine being and you're able to do that. So just release, release, release. Remember the elevator, press the button. And if it's not working and you, and you feel frustrated, try to do other things that will raise your vibration in a different way and just trust that that is another way or another pathway for you to raise your vibration or go, go up the different floors, kind of by, bypassing the elevator, taking that walk, going for a run, talking to an old friend, um, or, or doing something to help others, uh, volunteer at an animal shelter or anything. Right now it's hard because of COVID, but um, doing your best to bypass the elevator if you feel like the elevator isn't working for you. Um, okay, so I think that's good enough for today. If anybody has questions about that, the uh, high rise, just keep, keep the questions coming via email and um, I'll be happy to explain things further. Um, so just uh, take deep breaths, let it go, and uh, understand that uh, we're all in this together. We're all connected in such a beautiful way. Um, and I think soon we're going to discover that. Um, and, and once we do, uh, there, will no, there will no longer be um, this feeling of inequality or someone's better than other, others or this color is better, this race is better. I think we'll be, we'll be much more of a society that is based on just humanity and realizing that we're all connected in, in such a beautiful way um, in harmony and, and in, in such a um, uh, higher dimensional um, uh, state of being that uh, we will look back at this period um, many, many, many decades from now and realize what we've learned and um, how we can evolve, which is such a beautiful thing. So uh, until next time, um, I'll talk to you guys soon.